Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. So today we're gonna to do a real quick modification on the 2016 Street Glide Special Build over here. And what we're gonna be doing is swapping out the turn signal lights for LED turn signal lights with smoked out lenses. Now, if you missed one of my other videos, I've already upgraded the front headlight to a aftermarket LED headlight, which I gotta say turned out pretty good. But today what we're gonna do is be swapping out the side marker lights or the turn signal lights. So let me jump in and show you what we're working with. Okay, so this is what I am referring to. These right here. You got the basic bulb inside with the basic amber plastic lens. On the back, again, basic bulb inside with a basic red lens. What we're gonna be doing is swapping those all out with high intensity LEDs, and they're gonna come with a smoked lens so we don't have to have those ugly lenses like that. Now these LED bulbs will actually still have the colors needed to be street legal. It's just, it'll be a smoked lens. So let's go take a look at them. Okay, so once you open up the box, in here is gonna be your lenses. Let me get a utility knife, cut this tape. Okay, so here you go right here. These are gonna be your smoked out lens caps. I'll take the plastic off one to show you what it looks like. So they're gonna look just like that. So we'll go ahead and set those to the side. But everything comes packaged really well. And here, just some other basic information. Kind of gives you some installation instructions here. And in here. Okay, so here's gonna be our lights. All right. Looks like we have some rubber gaskets in here as well. Okay, so we got two and two. Okay, we'll set those aside over here. And then one of these. And these are probably just some foam gaskets as well. So we'll set those over there. All right, so that seems to be about it. Okay, so these ones right here, let me take one out of the bag to show you. Now again, any of the products that I typically put on my bikes or my trucks, I'll always put the link in the description of where you can check them out for yourself. So there you go right there. So again, these are all LEDs right here and they are gonna be color coded for the different colors, whether it be red or amber. So that's what they are. They should be pretty simple for plug and play, but I'm gonna go ahead today and show you how to install these. Give me a minute, I'm gonna go through these directions and then we'll see how to hook these up. But in order to do so, we're gonna to have to come over here, take a little tiny screwdriver and pop it in there. Right off to the side, there's like a little notch there. Pop those off. We're gonna go in here, unplug that bulb. So let me look into this and I'll be right back. Okay, just to show you what these look like when they are actually lighting up. Okay, let's go ahead and get the left turn signal going. There you go there. So it's basically just a bulb and that's it. Okay, the back one. Just one ball blinking, that is it. Turn those off. That's your daytime running light. So just basically the same bulb just lit up. Let me turn the lights off in the garage. Okay. So again, they're not bad, they're not as bright, and they don't look as good, but they do okay. So what we're gonna do is swap them out with something cooler and brighter. Okay, so to take these off are pretty simple. You're just gonna take a little screwdriver, get it in that little cutout right there. So it just pops off, they're just pressure clips, okay? Then to take your bulb out, you're gonna pretty much press in and turn it. So you press in, slight turn, and they pop right out. Those little balls on there, they pretty much lock it in place. So that's how you get the bulbs out. You press in, slight turn, pull out. Now again, you're gonna do that on all four, so let me go do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so to mount these, now just so you know, they're gonna be two different colors. The ones with the yellow outer ring is for your front of the bike. The back 
with no yellow ring is for the back of the bike. Now, there are two different instructions here based on the turn signals you have right now. So whether you have the three and a quarter inch turn signals here, if you do, you'll have to use these larger spacers, which they tell you exactly how to use them and where to use them, okay, right here. So steps one through seven are the same for both. But if you have the larger diameter one, you're gonna be using the actual extension ring that will fit into the larger opening of your housing. I don't have that. I actually have the two inch ones, so I will not even need these. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel the outer edge. You see that perforation there? You're gonna peel the outer edge out. So it's gonna look like just a sticky ring. And you're gonna put that around the outer perimeter of the light on the front. Then you're gonna peel the sticky tape off of that and you're gonna set the cap right on top of it. So this outer edge is gonna line up right with the edge of these legs, like that, okay? So it's not gonna fit in there flush, it's gonna stick on there just like that. And then, because of these pressure clips, these little bumps right there, they're gonna pop right in. So, should be simple and easy. So let me go ahead and start doing that and we'll be right back. Okay, so I got the first one done. Let me just show you how to do it. So the easiest thing to do is kind of kind of pinch the outer edge of this and see if you could try to rip out gently without ripping the outer edge. You want to rip out the center. Just like this. Okay. All right, then what you want to do is take off one side of the tape exposing the sticky side. Then that sticky side, you're going to stick down on the outer edge of the actual light. So just take your time and be very careful about lining that up. So let me see if I can get this off. Then I'm just going to basically line it up. Just like that. Okay. So that's what it's gonna look like. So that's two. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones. Now, once the sticky tape is applied to the LED light, then you're gonna peel off this side of the tape, exposing the sticky side on this side. And then you, that's what you're gonna drop right on top of the light housing, just like that. So let me do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got all four of them done now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start peeling the outside parameter of this tape off of this side. So again, just try to grab the outer edge, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is, probably better to line it up from the back like this, is we're gonna pretty much drop it right down on the edge. Pretty much, you can always make a slight adjustment, pretty much like that. So now as you can see, it's sticking on there. So what you're doing is you're just sticking it on just like that, and you want it to be right on that outer edge. It's pretty much lined up that way to begin with, but you wanna make sure that little hump is sticking out just past the light, okay? So there we go. So now just give it a little gentle, firm press around the edge to make sure it's sticking, and then you're done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other three, and then we'll get back and we'll start installing them on the bike. Okay, so we're done. So we got the double-sided sticky tape placed on the LED light and then stuck to the outer lens cap just like this for my specific two inch housings that are on the bike. So again, this installation is no different than if you have the larger diameter. It's just if you have the larger diameter housing like these, you're just gonna be basically sticking them to this outer sleeve that'll fit in within there. But if you have smaller ones like this, you don't even use these. Okay, so now, what you want to make sure is don't get them mixed up. 
So always keep them separated of which ones are the front, which ones are the back. When in doubt, if you're not sure, try to look in on the edge. If you see the yellow outer edge, that's a front. You can see right there, the yellow edge, we got them. So now I know these are the front, those are the back. So then all you gotta do is come over here to the bike. Same thing, there's your little nubs. Stick them in there, give a little press, twist and lock, and then you're just gonna sort of tuck the wire behind there, and then you're just gonna press this cap back in, and then it's gonna hold everything in place. So let me go ahead, get this first one installed, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so what you wanna do is, there's little nubs on here. You're not lining it up with that little notch. It's the little line is up a little further. So don't line it up there, line it up up here. So your notch is gonna go in a little bit of an angle. But once you find that notch, push in, turn it to the right, now you're locked in. So now what I would do is before you actually start mounting it, go ahead and turn your bike on. Left turn signal, working, okay. Down. So we know we're good. So this one is on, let's go ahead. Again, tuck the wire in a little bit. Give it a nice firm press. There you go. So that's what it looks like. All right, so let me go ahead and do the next one. So here's our next one here. Again, we always know by looking at the outer edge, looking for the yellow. And we're looking, and what I mean by that is on the lights inside. You see that outer little square LED? Those are yellow, those are the front. So again, come over here, find your notch, press. Okay, so I got it in. When in doubt, if you got big fingers and you quite can't get your fingers in there to push it in far enough to turn it, just get some pliers, grab the outer edge, gently that way you can stick it in and give it a turn but once it's locked in you should be good to go again let me test this one make sure that one works so again i would always come up here and check each one before actually pushing it in for the final install so this one's lined up okay we're locked in now again, that's what they're gonna look like there. Okay, so again, let me go do the back ones and we'll get this wrapped up. So what you wanna do is get that on the edge, just like that, find your groove. Locked in. Let me grab the other one. Let's do a salt one time. And just be very careful and look for the groove. You see the channels there? Again, not, not the main one, that little one right there. There's one there and there should be one right up above it on an angle. So what we're gonna do, get our pliers set up, come in on an angle, locked in. Now again, let's try everything one more time. And then once, We've verified that the back ones work. Pop them in. We'll see what it looks like. So let's try left. Okay, that one works. Try the right. That one works. All right, so we are good. Let's just go ahead. Get these pressed in. Okay, we're done. So there you go. That's what it looks like from the back now. Look how much nicer that looks like that. And look how nice the front looks. Nice smoked out lens. All right, now let's see what they look like. Get that going. Okay, hit our left. Ain't that cool? For a turn signal, check out the back. There you go. Now again, as you can see here, the running lights are still going, but it flashes in the middle for the turn signal. So let's turn that off. Check out the left side. 
Look how cool that looks. So again, the goal was to get something that was flashy that would help me be seen better at night when I'm driving by other drivers. Check out over here. There we go. So again, we are now done. Everything is completely finished. That was a fairly simple install. I think overall, it goes much better with the bike. Because again, on my bike here, because it's that charcoal denim, I'm trying to go with a black and gray with a splash of chrome. And it's coming together really nice. That looks really sharp. It looks a lot better. It looks a lot more custom now, instead of having those yellow lenses and the red lenses on the back. It just looks way better. And eventually, I'll probably get rid of this here, that reflector, and get something better for that. But again, so far, it's looking awesome. Okay, so we turned the lights out in the garage. Let's see what they look like now. Much better. Again, I think that's gonna be more visible at night than what was on previously. Let's take a look around the back. Again, much brighter. Really happy with how they turned out. I mean, you can see just how much more is being lit up. I think, I think when I'm riding, I do believe at night when it's completely dark outside, those lights are gonna look amazing. But I just like how they flash in the front from white to amber, white to amber. It just really draws your attention to the bike. And again, this whole kit with the front and back LED turn signal lights with the smoked out lenses, it was a complete kit, was a little over $34. So again, a small investment, but look how much nicer that looks on the bike. That looks way better. And they're on there pretty snug. They're not going anywhere, okay? And the back ones, look how much better that looks. Again, super nice, street legal, looks awesome. And this bike is coming along. And I gotta say, I don't even know why I waited so long to get a touring bike. Um, again, I'm a tall guy. I always stayed away from them because I just didn't feel like they fit me very well. So I've always stuck with the wide glide for the longest time. But I finally decided that it was time to upgrade to the bigger bike. So I started this build and by doing all of the extensions on the controls and the floorboards and the higher 16 inch handlebars and everything else that I've done to this bike so far, this by far is my favorite bike. I gotta say, I probably end up selling the Y Glide and I probably won't even miss it because I love this bike so far. So there you go guys, again, another very simple, easy, and low cost modification that you could do to your touring model Harley Davidson and it's gonna make it look awesome and you're gonna be seen better at night, which is the ultimate goal when we're riding at night. So that's it, I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I truly appreciate you all. Thank you. And as always, see you in the next video.